An aspiring young author had sent his manuscript to several publishers, all of whom declined it, saying that his writing wasn't refined or that his ideas were too cliché. While the author could take these refusals just fine, it was the whole ma other matter when his book actually did get published, and the negative backlash from the general public was overwhelming. By readers, the book was dubbed to be a mediocre story, not worth cutting down a rainforest to publish, and the author was advised to give up his ambitions and do something else with his life. Even his so-called friends thought his book was poorly written trash until unfit of being referred to as literature, and they were certainly not afraid to tell him so. But these people just didn't understand. They couldn't see the heart in every word of every line. They had no idea that the book was not a mere product of the offer. It was the offer. And insulting the book was in the eyes of the author the same as insulting him. Why did people reject him? A kid who just wanted to tell a good story and contribute something to the world. He was saddened immensely. And when his depression, when his depression culminated and became unbearable, he hanged himself. Let's tell. Let this be a good story, the author thought as he closed his eyes. About a week after the author's funeral, something began to, ha to happen. Manuscripts aplenty got sent to random publishers all over the country. And on each of the, these manuscripts, the name of the deceased author, a pseudonym, they assumed. The central themes in all of these books was human suffering and a facade of pain, hatred, and sadness where were explored excessively. Really intricate tricet descriptions of unfortunate souls being tortured in gruesome ways were scribbled on every page. And boy, did reader, readers love it. The book got sold out quickly after hitting the shelves. And a new trend in modern literature was born. The mystery author was proclaimed a literary genius. With the thoughts of understanding of humanity's greatest fears and darkest side. Hoping to keep the monument going and making suffering books. The new vampire love stories. Many publishers started a, a wide-scale campaign in the media to find the true identity of the author. And you can be sure that many imposters showed up with crappy manuscripts. About to give up any hopes of ever finding the author, all the publishers had received manuscripts all the publishers that received manuscripts got a letter sent to them, addressed from the author, in which was written, I gave you my best and you refused it. Now I give you my worst and you love it. No creatures are lower than you. And this comes from someone who spends eternity under the, sh under the soles of your shoes. Warm greetings from a very warm place, the offer. Hey guys, this is Wolf Titan. I'm coming in to tell you about a friend of mine, Madam Horror. It's her. I think you guys should at least go check out her channel. She is a pretty good artist. She does artwork and she takes commissions. She's a very enjoyable person, I might say, and a very fun person to be around.
just check out her channel and give it a chance. You never know. You might have her convince. You might be able to convince her into doing a drawing for you. You just gotta find out and talk to him. This is Wolf Titan, signing out.